Warning, this video will have cursing in it and will have inappropriate jokes, so if you feel uncomfortable with these kinds of videos, please click off. But, if you don't feel uncomfortable with these kinds of videos, please get all comfortable in your blankets and enjoy this Demon Slayer High School AU. Thank you. 6 a.m. is the time you woke up at to go to school. And no, you weren't waking up to go to school to go learn as a student. You were going to go teach as a teacher. So you woke up, took a shower, got dressed, did your skincare, put on your makeup, fed your cats, walked out the door, got in your car, and drove off. But before going to school, you stopped for some Starbucks. Then, you went to school. You got out of your car after parking and saw the huge building. You were so excited on seeing the place that you were going to work out for the rest of your life. You were happy and walked into school. There weren't many people. There were mainly just janitors and the principal. You walked in your classroom, which was upstairs in room 208. You walked in, sat your bag down, took off your coat, and laid it down. You sat in your desk, figuring out some paperwork, putting some stuff away, cleaning the classroom, and organizing the desk and making sure everything was tidy and clean. You sat back in your desk after finishing that. And by that time, most of the teachers had already gotten into the school. And your door was opened. Three men walked past your door. Two of them were very loud. One of them was very quiet. The two in the front and one in the back. One of them in the front was a white-haired man who was extremely tall, seemed very confident, and seemed very extroverted, unlike the one in the back. And the one next to him was even louder. He had fiery hair, orange and red hair. His eyes lit up every time he talked, and his eyes were also orange red. And you were excited to see how some teachers at least were a bit more like you, a bit more extroverted, a bit more positive. But then the man in the back was a short black haired man who had different colored eyes. His hair was in layers and he had a snake wrapped around his neck, which seemed questionable, but you brushed it off. You both made eye contact. He didn't really think much of it, but you decided to wave at him. As you could see in his eyes, he seemed a bit shocked that you did that, but still it seemed like he was in a good mood, at least that morning, and decided to wave back at you. He did. You smiled and went back to doing your work. He walked away with the other two. Time passed, about 30 minutes, and all the students started walking in your class after the bell rang. Everyone was talking, some of the students walked in, and it seemed like there was a boy named Tanjiro. He had such pure, innocent eyes and was leading on to the other two boys. One named Zenitsu and the other one named Inosuke. Inosuke was a boar-headed boy who had his shirt unbuttoned and had a boar on his head, which was also very questionable. You brushed it off as well. The other boy had yellow electric hair, seemed also questionable. 
you brushed it off too. And there was a girl in the back named Nezuko. She had bread, a loaf of bread in her mouth, which you also thought was pretty weird. But again, you brushed it off and didn't think much of it. And along with Nezuko, she was walking with a girl named Canal. Canal seemed very sweet and shy. She seemed very innocent. She seemed like Nezuko. Then next to Canal was a girl named Aoi. Aoi was a bit feisty, but at the same time calm. Then a boy named Muchiro walking behind Tandro, which had very long, beautiful hair. And he looked like a girl, like Inosuke. You brush it off all, and more kids behind them, and more kids behind them. Eventually, they filled up your whole class with students, and after the second bell rang, all the students sat in their desk, looked up at you, and waited for you to speak. They all got very quiet, and after a few seconds, you got up and stood in front of your desk. Hello students, my name is Miss Ellen, but my first name is Wyan. I'm so very excited to be here with all of you and be able to teach all of you. And I'm hoping we could all go through this whole year and get to know each other and get to know each other more and just enjoy each other's presence and be happy with each other. Here are some things about me. I just got out of college and I have two cats, a mom cat and a baby kitty. The mom cat is named Lola and the baby kitty is named Luna. And I am 19 years old. My favorite color is pink. My favorite drink is coffee. And my favorite food is strawberry mochi. Specifically, the ice cream one. And I hope I can get to know you all a bit more. So... For now, to pass the time, everyone will raise their hand and get up and say their name, how old they are, and say one thing that they like. Okay? The whole class said yes, and you said, who would like to go first? A boy named Tondro raised his hand and got up and said, I would like to go first, ma'am. He said... My name is Tondro Komodo. I am 15 years old and my favorite color is red. And I really like to eat. You smiled saying, who doesn't love to eat? Then a girl named Nezuko raised her hand and said her name and how old she was and her favorite color and something that she liked. And after her was another boy, and then another boy, and then another person, and so on and so forth. Then after everyone was done, by that time the bell had already rang, everyone started packing their stuff and walking out the classroom. You said to everyone, thank you for being so kind, and I hope we can all enjoy the school year. Everyone said, you're welcome and walked out seems like all the students were very mutual on you and some of them really liked you and after that it was lunchtime you packed your lunch and went to the teacher's lounge as all the teachers would go to the teacher's lounge for lunch and all the students would go to the lunchroom and eat 
You walked in the lounge, and you were greeted by the man named Tengen, who had you saw this morning with the man named Rengoku. Rengoku and Tengen both greeted you at the doorway. You smiled and greeted them as well. It seemed like the only seat that was available was one next to a man that you had saw this morning as well. The short man with black hair and the snake around his neck. You sat next to him. Not really making any conversation. You smiled at him. He didn't really do anything. And went back to eating and doing his work. Saying how the man didn't have any lunch. You were worried, but brushed it off. And you were doing your work. And after you finished eating, you put your lunch away. And... You wanted to make conversation with him. So you did. You asked, hello. So you did. You said, hi, my name is Miss Ellen. Quiet Ellen. What's your name? He looked at you a bit annoyed and said, hi, my name is Obanai Igoro. And completely ignored the rest that you were saying. And you were a bit... Um, I guess say nervous to talk to him. He seemed so mysterious and very quiet. But you brushed it off and wanted to keep talking to him. You asked him, how long have you worked here? He said, why are you talking to me? You said, oh, I'm sorry. Am I bothering you? He said, no, but no one really talks to me. You said, oh. Well, I want to get to know everyone this year and be friends with everyone. So, I hope you don't mind me talking to you. I just want to get to know you. He said, oh, in a annoyed but calm voice. You ask him again, how long have you worked here? He says, about three years. You say, oh, wow, that's a long time. He says, yeah. I guess. You say, well, I just joined the school year, and I'm very excited to get to know everyone here. He seemed a bit surprised at your confidence and how extroverted you were, and how happy you really wanted to be here. But he brushed it off and didn't really care. But then you asked him, may I have your phone number? He seemed shocked. He asked, why do you want my phone number? You say, well, I want to keep in touch with everyone this year. And be friends with all the teachers. And I had already gotten a few of the teachers' number, like Tengen, Rengoku, Mitsuri, Shinobu. And yeah. And I would like to get yours too. He seemed hesitant on it. But eventually gave in and gave you his phone number. You both started talking a bit more and it seems like you two actually had a lot in common. Seeing how different you both were. Seeing how him was, seeing how he was more introverted and didn't really talk much. And you were more extroverted and positive and didn't hesitate on standing up for somebody. And after that, the bell had rang. And you both got up and started packing your stuff to go back to your classrooms. You had hesitated on asking him this, but did it anyways. You asked him before he left, Is it okay with you if we could have lunch tomorrow in my classroom? He looked at you confused and shocked and started blushing a bit. He said, I mean, sure, I guess. He said, okay, great. And before you both went to your classrooms, he asked, do you want me to walk you to to your class? You said, oh, how kind of you. Sure. And while you two were walking to your class, You two were talking a bit more, and 
like you both just had a lot in common started talking and he actually laughed at one of your jokes and you were shocked and stopped walking he looked at you confused and asked why'd you stop walking you say well i've never actually seen you laugh and he stays quiet and realizes what he did and says oh sorry you say no it's completely fine i was just surprised that a guy like you could even be able to laugh no offense you couldn't see it much but you could see that he smiled and you thought it was sweet you smiled and you both walked to your classes and before he left you said Thank you for accompanying me to my classroom and walking me to my class and eating lunch with me. Uh, Thank you very much. Without you, I would have been probably sitting alone. He says, oh, you don't need to thank me. And before he could say anything else, he had already walked off. You You sat in your desk. The second bell rang. And all your students started walking in. New students, every period, and every period. You didn't really mind it much, but seeing how such a quiet guy talked to you, you found it sweet that he actually started talking to you, but didn't really mind it much. After the school day was over, You packed your stuff after staying to teach some students about or talk to them about baking. After they had all all left, you packed your stuff, went to the first floor, to the parking lot, and saw a few of the teachers. The man named Tengen, another man named Rengoku, a man named Sonami, and another boy named Giyu. You smile at them and wave, but the only ones that waved back and smiled were Tengen and Rengoku. You walk to your car and see Openai unlocking his car door. You say, oh, we parked next to each other. What a coincidence. He says, oh, yeah, how was your first day of school? You say, it was pretty nice, while well, unlocking your door and setting your stuff down in your car. You both talked for a bit before actually getting into your car and leaving. But before you left, he asked, why did you talk so much to me? You say, well, I told you, because I want to get to know everyone. He said, no, I know that, but you seem different. You ask, what do you mean? He said, never mind. He got in his car and you said goodbye to him. And while you were putting yourself away in your car, he had already left. And you drive off and go home. You got home, parked your car, got your stuff, unlocked your door, and went into your house. You took a shower, got ready for bed, and every night before going to bed, you would always cuddle with your cats. And you were just thinking about how the day went. You were pretty happy on how it went. And you started thinking about open eye. You thought about the question that he asked, and you realized how you two were actually so much closer than you thought I mean when walking next to other teachers you were a bit more farther from them but when you walked next to him you were so close to him and that's when you realized oh wow I was really close to him not really in the type of way that you say well we have so much in common in the type of way physically you realize you both 
didn't really mind when you both bumped into each other or slightly touched each other. You both seemed so comfortable with each other already. They started blushing a bit more on the thought of it, but then brushed it off and said, it's whatever. Then you went to bed. Yo, this video took so long. Oh my god. The editing and everything. Not to mention, I literally... I Like, I accidentally deleted the first video on accident. I didn't mean to. I accidentally deleted it. I didn't mean to. And that video was like 30 minutes long. And it was like hella good. And I deleted it. And I didn't mean to delete it. And I had to record record everything all over again it was, it was such a pain in the ass but besides that um this was requested by my best friend danielle or danny and danny i swear to god if you don't make that story i'm gonna kill you when i see you this took way too long i had to record it twice this, this took like two days to make i'm so for real two whole days it was oh my god it was such a pain in the ass but i finally made it <sighs> and yeah i hope you guys liked it so please send me more requests on it, it doesn't have to be open eye videos like it can be different different stuff like hunter x hunter uh, i don't really do promise neverland anymore uh but if you guys really want it, I'll do a Promise Neverland one, and I can maybe do that, and a Hunter Hunter one, and Demon Slayer one, a Gojo one, Jujutsu Kaisen, uh, yeah, I can do this. I just won't be able to do the ones that I haven't watched. Like, I haven't watched One Piece because it's too long and I'm too scared to watch it. Because I know I'm never going to finish it. And I'm just... I don't want to hear the spoilers. But, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Um, yeah. Have a good day. Bye.